Well, welcome guys back to another diorama build. You know what? I am not letting this series go. We are officially starting a little bit of a diorama museum. Now, of course, you guys see me putting it together right here. I already have two as of recording this already in this little quote unquote museum. But of course, I'm going to move some of my other ones in here. Probably not the India one, but I'm definitely going to move the Utah one in here because I am going ham on the U.S. states. I love this whole trend because it's giving me such a blast of creativity that I have never had before in my life. Like back, even Foxborough, I've never felt as inspired to make habitats like this before because I'm throwing realism out the, re out the window. I am throwing constraints out the window. I am throwing everything out the window in order to make these really really awesome habitats and that's what i love about this trend and i'm seeing so many awesome creators not even like content creators i'm just seeing creators within the community start to build their own i'm just trying to like draw attention to some right now because it's so amazing to see people start to do these i think what was his name uh cockchafer and please don't censor me on that youtube it's a kind of bug listen trust me it's a kind of bug, but no, he's doing some really awesome train dioramas and he has them going through like this little predetermined track within the walls. I think that is absolutely insane to see. And I love seeing everyone's take on these because each one is so different. We're seeing some from basic builder. I've seen some from Drew. I'm, I mean, obviously we've all seen the ones from Rudy and I don't know, just looking at these ones and looking at the ones from Parkitect and stuff like that. That's where this whole trend originally started. It's just really awesome to see that. And I don't know, I'm just a really big fan of that. But I guess we should probably talk about what I'm building in here first. So, of course, I wanted to do an Alaska build, as you can probably tell from like the thumbnail and the title and the pun and the description and all that stuff. But no, I really wanted to do an Alaska build, and I was curious about how I could do that. So, I don't know, I wanted to do a little bit of a river. I didn't really want to do like a glacier or anything like that because I feel like that'd be way too much to pack in to a small little build. I just wanted to have it be a little bit subdued. I have some more ideas for stuff that I can do with ice and snow later on, but I'll get there when I get there. For the time being, I'm just trying to get this river to look good. And yeah, I eventually break it up into two different segments. I am a very, like, I'm just very happy with how it's all turned out. But yeah, so here I am working on a little bit of like kind of like the containment system, I guess Just making sure that the water can't flow out. I'm a really big fan of this in real dioramas Just seeing like people able to cut the water off at a specific point That's what I love. That's the stuff I dig right there. I'm a really big fan of it But I don't know just stuff like that just makes me so happy. It makes my it gives that blast of serotonin in my head and here I am working on like a little bit more of the rock walls and stuff like that. I kind of start off with like a little bit of a basic shape for them. And then I work around some more intricate rock work later on. I feel like that is the best way to accomplish stuff like that when you're working with like intricate rock walls and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm just really digging it. But yeah, just working on this all. I use this interesting blend of taiga and what is that it's the um taiga and oh gosh i'm forgetting the name of it but the other kind of rock and i do end up using some temperate rocks in here as well just to give it a good little bit of a palette i love mixing and matching rocks it's just such i don't know i just really love it and i still do use some of the faux rocks for like pebbles and stuff like that taiga and tundra that's it that is the combination of rocks that i use but yeah, I'm just making sure that I get all this looking nice. I love rock work, I gotta say. It's so fun. I love making sure it all looks nice. And I especially love how well it turns out in this build in particular. Just because, I don't know, I just really, really want to get this, like, falls going. So we should probably talk about the animals before they go in. So I want to include, like, some Alaskan wildlife. I want to just hold some animals out because I do have some future builds planned for them. So, one in particular that I feel like a lot of people are going to miss will be the moose. Now, specifically the eastern moose, which is, you know, it's the one that is made in the game. It's the mod. There's no western moose or anything like that. I want to include the moose in a further build, though, so that's why I opted him out of this one. 
and you'll actually see me putting a beluga in here but it just didn't feel right but you know the ones that are in the build are the american wolverine released by jen absolutely amazing mod we also have the grizzly bear not a mod um i just wanted to get a grizzly in there i guess i could have done black bear but you know, we don't need to have mods every here every time in here. I know, I just released the India speed build, the India diorama, and people were like, Leaf, are you are you okay? You didn't include any mods in this one. I'm like, you know what? Sometimes we don't need mods. Sometimes we don't need them, you know? And sometimes I kind of wish Frontier would notice me. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. But yeah, just working on all the rock work in here. And what else did I have? Oh yeah, the sockeye salmon. So, of course, I had to have the salmons in here, the horny salmons, as people like to call them, because they are made with, like, their breeding skin. So, if you guys don't know, the sockeye salmon actually has a unique skin when it, like, it needs to breed and stuff like that in real life. And it turns this beautiful bright red. And, I don't know, I just felt like that would be the most iconic way for it to be displayed as a mod in the game. Because that's how you often think of them. They're often depicted like that. I don't know. I just feel like that'd be an awesome, like, little thing to have. Especially with them going up the river in this. They love to use all the river, which is surprising. I only expected them to use, like, the little bit of the mouth of the river. But no, you'll see them climbing back up to, like, the top of the river. It's really good to have. I don't know. I'm just a very, very big fan of it. And, yeah, just making sure that everything's flowing nice in here. I love how well the frame came out for this one. I want to do, like, a little bit of, like, an Inuit kind of pattern in here. I'm just a really, I love it. I, it just came out so well. And I use a little bit of the gravel in here at first. I do change it out for flagstone, which I feel like turned out a lot better. And you'll actually see it come together because guess what? This is a speed build after all. But yeah, you can see me start to use the Arctic wood. I know it's crazy. I'm using the Arctic wood for an Arctic build. That is just so amazing to have. And you can see me start to use like the patternings over here. These tiles. I never use them, but they are so useful. I love how versatile they are. It just feels so nice to actually use. And you can see me start to like put in these patterns and stuff like that. This combination of color is so freaking beautiful. I love how well it came out. And, you know, here I am just getting that basic template done. And then I just repeat it over and over again. And it just looks fantastic afterwards. And yeah, I do kind of have this in its own little room inside of the entire museum. So yeah, we will be making like a lot of museums going forward. Not a lot of museums, but a lot of dioramas going forward. Um, I'm going to kill this trend <laughs> with how much I have planned for it. But I don't really care because I'm having fun with it. And I hope you guys are enjoying what's being put out for it. Especially for my fellow creators out there. I really do hope you guys enjoy their content as well. All of us seem to have like very different ideas of what we're hoping to achieve. Like I see the stuff that Rudy builds. I see the stuff that like um, Basic Builder built. I see the stuff that Drew's been building. They're just all, they all have their own distinct style. And I really do love how well it's all like shaping up. Because like, I don't know, it's just really unique to have everyone's take on this little trend. And I hope this trend does not die out soon because I am loving how well this community is acting with this and i feel like i was just watching estan's video like earlier today and i was like you know what estan you're making some good points he was talking about how like after the africa pack there is no like desire for, well of course there is desire for a new dlc but people aren't really chomping at the bit for a new dlc just yet people are enjoying their time with the africa pack and that's why i love to see people are making People have not slowed down since it came out. I feel like, in fact, I feel like a lot more people are building more now than they did when the Africa pack actually came out because we're learning from each other. And that's something I love about this community. We learn from each other about how to use pieces. We learn from each other about how to like make different styles. And that's what I love about like being a part of a lot of these different communities, especially like Bro Nation. They always know how to use pieces in such inventive ways. That's why I love like the unicorn community because I don't know, they just have this fresh take that you don't really see from like the Bro Nation server. I love seeing like the modding discord and like the Planet Zoo discord and Savannah's discord and all the different styles of builds and all of them. I love seeing like um, this I'm just advertising everyone's Discord. Screw it. Let's actually talk about Dan XG's uh, Dan 
FXG, sorry Dan. <laughs> but no, he has a unique style on his builds as well as his followers as well. It's just really insane to see like all these different modems of like inspiration start to take form. And I don't know, I just, I love seeing you guys get inspired by my builds as well because like, you know, I think my builds are pretty all right. But seeing what you guys are able to pull from mine, well, it's just, it's just really, really, I don't know, it just warms my heart. I don't know how else to say it. But yeah, going back to this build, you can already see it start to like, look like a true diorama. I did the framing around like the back and stuff. I think it came out really well. And here we go. Actually, like, I don't know. I just downloaded Jojo's props right there and I want to check them out. But yeah, I'm just testing around with like some different foliage, different like scenery props and stuff like that. Just making sure everything lines up pretty nice. Just making sure I have like good scenery. It's sort of like scenery theme, I guess you could say. I kind of have like a little bit of a campsite and stuff like that. I have like a little bit of a hiking trail. Just like a bunch of small things. Here I am with the gravel that Nick had in the Africa beta. By the way, definitely go check out the Safari Pack beta. Really awesome pieces in there. Definitely do go check them out. But yeah, just making sure that this habitat is looking swanky as well. Just hammering out this area because I kind of gave it a little bit less loving. Uh, here I am using those nice, beautiful faux rocks. I wish we had more of these kinds. Just because, I don't know, I feel like we need more variety with those like kind of pebbly rocks. And I actually put them like all over the habitat too, like all over the river and, and stuff like that. Because that's what I love about like going up north to like New Hampshire, Maine, and going to like the Saco River. I'm not sure if you guys know about the Saco River, but it's basically one of my second homes. But um, no, they have these beautiful large pebble rocks in there and it's just so beautiful to see. And I don't know, it's just like that kind of river that I absolutely love. And I can't wait to actually, you know, get to that point in the build where I start to build off of that kind of style so yeah just doing all the foliage putting in these cattails and stuff like that we're about halfway through the build and we will end it on some beautiful beautiful little scenery shots of like all the animals in here i'm so excited for you guys to see them all there is a little bit of a problem with them though so since this diorama is a little bit raised up and i wasn't able to hide a trade center within the diorama itself which i usually recommend um, I had to build up a little bit behind the diorama and I may fix that up at some point. I may have like a museum touch up episode where I just go through all the dioramas and kind of make everything look pretty. In fact, I kind of didn't even make like, I kind of have the entire room be the exhibit and you can start to see me start to, I don't know, just throw, sort of sort out the animals that I wanted. Here I go, just throwing stuff in there. I wanted to get like a bunch of salmon. And notice how I only pick out one sex of the animals that don't really have sexual dimorphism. I don't want them to breed, especially the fish, because when they breed, they are a lot bigger than the adults. And that just wouldn't look right. I'm sorry, guys, that just wouldn't look good. But yeah, you can see me do this first ram. I end up doing the second one like in the back and stuff like that. But just making sure everything is fitting in there. All the animals seem to not want to go into the water for some reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. And yeah, it's, it's just a mess trying to get everything in here. Also, it was raining. It was like, I don't know, just very bad vibes all around. Uh, but yeah, you can see how I wouldn't be too much of a fan of the beluga in there. Just wasn't a really big fan of that. But hey, what can you do? <laughs> like, It's just, it's fine. So I start to put a lot more foliage in here. Just really dress it up to kind of make it feel a lot more like Alaska because you know, you, when you think of Alaska, you think of like those beautiful, beautiful forests. You think of like, I don't know, spruces. You think of like nice big pine trees and stuff like that. It just looks beautiful. And I love how the small foliage came out, like all the bushes, all like the flowers and stuff like that. It came out so beautiful, especially on the frame. I did like a bit, little bit of like a planted frame around the outside of it and it came out so well i am just floored by how well this all came out and you can see me start to do like a little bit of a hiking trail up there and stuff like that i am just so floored with how this one came out i don't know it's so simple it's nothing crazy but it just feels so homey and i don't know i just really do love it just like all the different angles you have going on in here each little area has its own little feel it just turned out, it turned out so beautiful in the end, and I'm so happy with it. And I do gotta give a shout out to Haribo, thank you Lee for reminding me about that. Haribo made the water tower in the back, so definitely do check out Haribo's workshop, as well as Haribo's YouTube channel. Um, 
he's been making some beautiful strides in the Planet Zoo community. He's easily one of my favorite builders out there and he makes some beautiful stuff. But yeah, just working on a little bit of fencing because I do want to have this little lick of civilization. Not really like a whole chomp of civilization, but I do want like a little bit just to kind of like frame it. I don't know, just kind of frame it as a diorama. Because when you see dioramas, it's more or less often like train sets and stuff like that. But I do want to incorporate like a little bit of human interactivity within this. Just to have it uh, have like, you know, a step beyond nature, but a little bit more of like interaction. You can see me start to just ignore that little video right there. But you can see me start to use a bold technique. Definitely do check out Bold's channel as well. Highly recommend her. Um, she taught me this little technique when it comes to making custom signs. Basically... You take a sign on a billboard and you trace over it with art shapes and then it just looks really, really good in the end. So I make a whole Alaska sign. This took me so friggin' long and I hated every second of it, but you know what? It turned out so good in the end. You guys should see the next one that comes after this because that one was a big pain in my butt, but it turned out really, really well in the end. But I don't know. I'm just a really big fan of of how all this came out. The S was a little bit difficult, but I got it to work nonetheless. But yeah, I just really, really do love how this build came out. I don't know. I'm just floored. I love it. I'm sorry, guys. I know I keep on saying like, wow, yeah. Oh my God, I love how this came out. But no, I genuinely love taking this time to sit back and appreciate the work that I do. Because when you're building like me and you constantly build for like, you know, Oh man, I gotta start a new project, I gotta work on this project, I gotta work on so-and-so. These videos are honestly one of the best parts of being like, you know, just being a Planet Zoo player, not even a content creator. Like, even if you're just a small creator, it's just really awesome to see your progress with like how your build shape up like this. And I highly recommend you just sit down, maybe even try recording one of your builds. Even if you're a slow builder, just speed it up it's fine but yeah i just really do love this part of the process and how well it comes out i don't know i'm just a really big fan but i don't know that's just my old leafy rant right there but we are ending the video soon so i do want to thank you guys for sticking around i do want to see how this turns out in the end with you guys so definitely do like stick around for that but yeah there's the whole sign i basically eh, the rest of the sign really isn't much it's just on like wooden stuff like that but no i just really do love how well it came out it just seems so rustic i'm a big fan of it and i use like the um what would you call that the east asia timber and i just frame it up a lot better just making sure it all looks nice and i do have a little copy of that alaska sign somewhere else so i don't really lose it in case if like someone wants like the words themselves but that's just that here i am just and like a little bit more scenery around here a little bit of chopped stumps and stuff like that just making sure it looks nice and here i am just framing it pretty well and i actually do change up like the framing later on uh but yeah that is that so i really do hope you guys enjoyed it uh definitely drop a like if you did enjoy it drop a comment let me know your favorite part of this let me know like your favorite little section of this area mine is definitely like the water section area like towards the right i don't know it just seems really cool and you can see the wolverine right there and you can also see the Sockeye Salmon by Nick right there. Just a really, really fun build. So definitely do subscribe if you guys did like this. I have a lot more coming. And probably my favorite one is coming up next. So definitely do keep your eyes peeled for that. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.